No problem, no problem, no problem, it's just no problem. Steady Eddie is always ready to make that delivery on time. Doesn't matter if it's raining, you won't find him complaining. For Steady Eddie it is no problem. No problem, no problem, no problem, it's just no problem. Can he carry a heavy load? No problem. Can he drive safely down the road? No problem. Can he go long distance? Can he drive all night? Will he make sure the delivery gets there all right? No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. It's just no problem. Steady Eddie is always ready to make that delivery on time. Doesn't matter if it's raining, you won't find him complaining. For Steady Eddie it is no problem. No problem. No problem at all. No problem. It's just no, no problem. problem. It's just no problem. No, I can no do it. Problem. I really can. No problem. Absolutely no problem. It's no, just no problem. problem. So ever. No problem. Eddie will no always problem. do it. With no, no problem. problems. It's just I, no I, problem. I'm sorry about that. Stuck in the mud. Morning, said Steady Eddie to Loretta Laurie as the sun rose over the trees behind the depot. Did you hear all that rain last night? He asked as he pulled out of his garage getting ready for the day's delivery. Oh yes, replied Loretta Laurie. It was really heavy and made a lot of noise bouncing off my garage roof. It, it kept me awake most of the night. Well, it's stopped now and the sun's out, said Steady Eddie. Hopefully all those puddles will dry out soon. All of a sudden, Eddie and Loretta heard a rattling and a clattering heading their way. Mind your backs, called Freddy Forklift as he shot out of the warehouse and squeezed his way between the trucks. Got a big delivery for you waiting in the warehouse. What is it? asked Steady Eddie. Well, it's for the housing estate that's being built across town. Big Paul the foreman called to say he's running out of building materials and he needs a delivery by lunchtime shouted Freddy as he headed towards the warehouse. No problem, said Steady Eddie as he opened his curtain. Coming through, shouted Freddy as he bought the first pallet from the warehouse and loaded it onto Eddie. Two more on their way, and off he shot. Freddy found the second pallet of paint, lifted it up and headed out of the warehouse. That was quick, said Steady Eddie as Freddy raised the paint into the air and slid it in next to the first pallet. Won't be long, said Freddy chirpily, and disappeared again, only to return with the third and final pallet full of rolls of wallpaper. That's it, said Freddy Forklift. You're all loaded up and ready to go. Watch out, shouted Steady Eddie, but it was too late. Freddy Forklift drove straight through a mud puddle, splashing Steady Eddie in the face. Oh no, look at me now, I'm all dirty. I can't go out like this, what will people think? It's only a little bit of water, no one will notice, soothed Loretta. What have you got in there anyway? All the light, easy to carry stuff, interrupted Oliver Overdrive as he drove into the depot. I'm taking fence posts and loads of heavy paving slabs for the gardens because I'm faster and stronger than you are, ready. Tins of paint are heavy too, argued Steady Eddie. Huh, I don't care, said Oliver. I've just been loaded. I've been through the lorry wash and I look smarter than you. <laughs> Everyone's going to be waving at me as we drive down the road. Not you, because you're a mess. <laughs> but that wasn't my fault, complained Eddie. It was Freddy Forklift. But Oliver didn't hear. He was already driving out of the depot and on his way to the housing estate. I'd better get going said Eddie to Loretta. Can't be late for my delivery. And off he went, following Oliver down the road. No problem, no problem, no problem, it's just no problem. Steady Eddie is always ready to make that delivery on time. Doesn't matter if it's raining, you won't find him complaining. For Steady Eddie it is no problem. No problem, no problem. No problem, it's just no problem. Will he get there on time? No problem. Will his paintwork and headlights shine? No problem. Will he be your best friend? Will he be polite? Will he make sure the delivery gets there all right? No problem. No problem, no problem, no problem. It's just no problem. 
Having problems with that heavy load? shouted Steady Eddie as he caught Oliver up. No, not at all, panted Oliver. It's not heavy at all. And with a rev of his engine, he pulled away from Steady Eddie and shot round the corner. <laughs> Steady Eddie wasn't worried. He knew he would easily catch up Oliver on the steep hill leading to the housing estate. He was right. As he turned the corner, he saw Oliver in the distance, struggling to get up the hill. Who's faster and stronger now? teased Steady Eddie as he overtook Oliver on the dual carriageway. Oh, 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 wait for, wait for, for me, it's not, whew, whew, was all Oliver could say as he watched Steady Eddie reach the brow of the hill and disappear from view. Big Paul, the site foreman, was waiting for Steady Eddie at the entrance of the new housing estate. Morning, Eddie, he said. Right on time as always. Where's Oliver? Uh, he was struggling to get up the hill, but should be here soon. Ah, good, good. Have you got the paint? Oh, yes, said Steady Eddie. And the wallpaper and paintbrushes. Lovely. If you drive over there by those houses, I'll get some of the boys to unload you. No problem, said Steady Eddie as he drove down the brand new road towards the houses. Just then, Oliver arrived. Ah, Oliver, a little late as usual, laughed Big Paul. If you can drive up there, past Steady Eddie and round the back of the houses, and then reverse to where the gardens are going to be. <laughs> right. Yes. OK, panted Oliver, trying to catch his breath. No, no problem. Just, just give me a minute, will you? Oliver took a deep breath and drove off down the road. Ah, uh, you were lucky. I'll, I'll beat you on the way home, he said as he drove past Steady Eddie. While Steady Eddie was being unloaded, Oliver Overdrive started reversing up to the back of the houses. Where's the road gone? he asked. And the gardens? All I can see is mud. We've built the houses, but we haven't started on the gardens yet, Oliver, said Big Paul. That's why we need the paving slabs and the fence posts. Now, come on, come on, keep going. So back went Oliver, reversing towards the houses. But with all the fence posts and paving slabs, he was far too heavy and it wasn't long before his back wheels sunk into the soft mud. Oh, no, said Oliver Overdrive. Try going forward, called Big Paul. So Oliver revved his engine and tried to drive forwards. But his front wheels spun, throwing mud everywhere. Uh, try backwards then, suggested Big Paul. But that just made things worse. Oliver's wheels span, throwing mud all over the place. I'm stuck, said Oliver. What am I going to do now? We'll have to pull you out, but first we've got to get all the fence posts and paving slabs off so you'll be light enough to tow, said Big Paul. I'll get the boys to come and unload you. So Oliver just sat there stuck in the mud, looking miserable while he waited to be unloaded. All done, said Eddie as the last of the paint pots were carried to the houses. Better get back to the depot. And he started his engine and drove down the road to find somewhere to turn round. Eddie, wait! shouted Big Paul. Don't go yet. We need your help. Oliver is stuck in the mud and we need you to pull him out. No problem, said Steady Eddie as he followed Big Paul. Eddie drove up and faced Oliver, who was looking rather embarrassed. Don't say anything. Just don't say anything, said Oliver grumpily. Big Paul attached the tow rope to the front of both trucks and Steady Eddie revved his engine as he got ready to pull Oliver free. Oops, said Steady Eddie as his wheels spun, splattering even more mud over Oliver. I didn't mean to do that. I'll drive more carefully. And slowly, inch by inch, Eddie pulled Oliver out of the mud. There you go, Oliver, said Eddie. You're no longer stuck, but you are very muddy. Thanks, said Oliver reluctantly. Well done, Eddie, said Big Paul as he untied the tow rope. 
I'll see you next time. And Oliver, you wait here. We can't have you on the roads with all that mud on your wheels. We're going to have to hose you down before you can go. See you next week, Big Paul, said Eddie. And Oliver, I'll, uh, I'll tell them at the depot you'll be back a little late again. And off he went. As soon as Steady Eddie got home, he headed for the truck wash for a lovely warm shower. Here we go! There's nothing I like better than getting wetter and covered in <laughs> bubbles and foam. I the first thing in the morning to help to stop me yawning or at of the day to wash the grime away. Oh, oh. splish, splash, splosh. Ooh, I like a lovely wash. Bubble, dribble, and pop. Make sure the water's nice and hot. Oh, lovely. There's nothing I'd rather do than drive slowly through the truck wash at least once a day. Brushes spin and splash me, working very hard to clean me. Just wait until you see me with my paintwork nice and gleamy. Yeah! Splish, splash, splosh. Ooh, I like a lovely wash. Woohoo! Bubble, dribble, pop. Make sure the water's nice and hot. Super! I the first thing in the morning. Stop me yawning Or at the end of the day To wash the grime away Yes, wash the grime away Oh, wash the grime away Go away, grime No problem After his shower Eddie parked himself safely back in his garage What a day, he thought I wonder what adventures I'll have tomorrow <laughs>